Another issue the CDC is in the middle of that's uh, troubling some Democrats, and that is, of course, the impending end of Title 42. Uh, Gary Peters, who chairs the Homeland Security Committee, uh, another Democratic senator today suggesting uh, he has doubts about ending Title 42, um, says that Secretary Mayorkas is scheduled to be there for a budget hearing, I believe, later this month or next month. Uh, what more, though, is the administration sharing with these Democrats and Republicans, but notably a handful of Democrats who say they don't see a firm plan, they want more details, and the administration seems to be rushing into this with no sense of what the repercussions could be? Well, I, I think it's important to remember this is not an immigration authority um, for anyone who has concerns about it, nor is it an immigration plan. We've never said it was. Um, it is a health authority that Congress gave the CDC authority to make a determination about, about whether it needs to stay in place or not. There is no question. We have a broken immigration system. There's more we need to do. We've been saying that from the first day the president took office. And anyone who wants to work on that, Democrats, Republicans, anyone, how we can put smarter security in place, how we can have an asylum processing system that works, we would love to do that. But what, they're, what is happening right now is they're essentially holding hostage funding for COVID. And we are going to run out of funding, we are already running out of funding, for key programs. So our issue here is let's move forward with the COVID funding. We're happy to have a discussion about the broken immigration system. We agree it's broken. Let's work together on addressing that. You say that because there's this amendment to the COVID well, that's plan the, that would put it I say that because that's the root issue here, isn't it? I mean, anyone who's raising concerns, they're tying it to, uh, they're tying it to the COVID funding. Republicans are, but you're going to have full of Democrats who aren't necessarily supportive I understand of that, that but, but we're also happy to work with anyone on, on immigration reform and any concerns is, they have. But it sounds like the answer is, if you've got concerns, you, Congress, do something about it. Well. Now, here's what happens on May 25th once Title The president put forward a bill his first day in office. It's not you do something about it. Let's work together on it, and we're happy to do that. You have different ideas. You want to talk about how to move this forward. Let's do that. At the same time, what's happening is this COVID funding, which means people who are uninsured are not going to be able to get access to uh, treatments, to vaccines. We're, going, we're not going to be able to get the fourth booster shot to everybody. We're not going to be able to get uh, the um, uh, treatments for immunocompromised. So that's where we're at, and that's why it's important to move that funding forward. And yes, our system is broken. Let's address it. But this is a health authority, not an immigration authority. Go ahead.